John here a minute, John. The problem with mines is that once you cut into rock, you get this. Water. And you've got to get rid of it. Because it runs downhill. This mine has to have 30 million litres pumped out every day. And this mine isn't even working. So, your mine's full of water. It's got to go somewhere. What do you do? You build a sump. So all the water drains to the bottom of the mine. Here's one. Then what do you do with it? Well, you've got to pump it out. And that is a pump. Trust me. And this is the engine that powers the pump. And it's a very special engine. This is a replica of a Newcomen steam engine, which was built for Lord Dudley's mine to pump water out. Thomas Newcomen, a blacksmith, installed this engine in 1712. The Duke of Bridgewater may well have thought about installing an engine like this in his mines at Worsley. It was a marvel of the age. A marvel which I will now demonstrate. Pardon me for not wearing my wig or my frock coat. Right. Fire. You can tell this is an early engine because you've got the firebox down here, the water in the boiler above it, and then jammed on top, the cylinder. This engine was designed to pump water out of a coal mine, and it's a good job because it absolutely eats coal. It is 0.5% efficient. So efficiency is not its strong point. Below us, we have our fire heating the water in the boiler and above that is this, the cylinder. So we're now waiting to get steam in the boiler and to warm up this cylinder because we want to pump. This beam is doing the work. At the other end of that beam are the pump rods. Those rods go all the way down into the shaft and they will act as the pump. They work on the downstroke. They work by pushing the water out. They don't pull it up. So gravity is helping us. The end of that beam, the weight of those rods, all acts to force water out of the mine. But we want to bring the other end of the beam back up. And here's how Newcomen did it. There's the cylinder. We've now got steam. So by depressing this, what I can only call a contraption, with respect to this venerable engine, this is the steam lever. We depress that, and steam's admitted to the bottom of the cylinder, below the piston. By releasing the F-valve there, via this piece of rope here, water's also admitted then, and then the steam condenses, causing a partial vacuum below the piston. Atmospheric pressure then acts on that, pulling it down. So that pulls the end of the beam down and the rods back up. Then gravity works with the rods and the end of the beam. So we're pumping. OK, let's see if it works. I'm now going to drive a 1712 steam engine. Steam lever. Steam into cylinder. Release F lever. Water sit into cylinder. Fantastic. Now, that was just a single action. When the machine works properly, this cog lever here, see these bolts here, these act on the various levers. So it has an automatic action. A little bit like this.
In most mines, the water was pumped out into a nearby river and just went on its merry way down to the sea. 